So Warzone Zombie Royale has been up for about a week now, and I cannot deny it was quite decent. Well, when the servers decided to work, of course. But upon playing this and comparing it to Black Ops 4's Pandemic Mode, which, for those who've never played Black Ops nor heard of the game, was basically a more chaotic version of Warzone Zombie Royale, Warzone Zombies just seems very held back, to put it concisely. So in Warzone Zombie Royale, rather than a gulag, you respawn as a with the abilities to exo jump, deploy an EMP shockwave, and chuck a Geneva Convention grenade in order to have a perk against humans. When you kill a human, you get an antidote from a syringe, and two of these will allow you to become a human again. Wait, so if you die as a zombie, surely the undead multiplies like in the movies and you come back, right? Nope, it's back to the buy station for you, or should I say your team, assuming they aren't getting timed out. And this is the aspect that I personally believe would even entice the experience more for this game mode. It has so much untapped potential. It's more for this game mode. It has so much untapped potential. But the role of zombies as it is right now, and the ease of getting syringes just makes the concept of CHAOTIC WARZONE FUN a little bit barren. Now from what I've played, and maybe your games, who knows, different than mine, it just seems that zombies, rather than infecting the enemies as they're supposed to, they're just abusing the wall hack mechanics they received as part enemies for the team. Whether the zombie player decides to use the dropped antidotes to come back or not, and become a human again, is dependent on them. So in a nutshell, zombies row is slow paced until around the fifth or sixth circles, but even then, let's have a look at what Black Ops Pandemic had to offer. Infected in Pandemic, don't worry, as you can enjoy hunting the survivors with the rest of the infected. Die, you'll come back out of the ground, no fancy perks aside from the wall hacks and Hell's Retriever. Plain old tactics about outnumbering people, that's all it was about in Pandemic. Now I know this is subjective, but keep in mind that Ground War Infected is not a permanent mode. I mean, I know people probably don't care about it, but it's kind of like what Pandemic was, just much bigger. If it was, if Ground War was a permanent mode, then I would probably not even be making this video, to be honest with you. Pandemic was a large-scale Infected, with looting and map traversing being the new factors, but the way I see it, Warzone Zombie Rao is kind of like that grandma that bakes the cookies and has a shit ton of butterscotch in her purse, but Pandemic was like, YOU TOOK A SHIT WHILE SLIDING IN SAN FRANCISCO, AND THE WHOLE SANITATION DEPARTMENT IS AFTER TO GET YOUR ass. It's a big difference. Again, as it lays right now, Warzone Zombies is tolerable, but the limit of one life and the lack of the ability to run with your zombie army of 70 people, maybe even more as it was in Pandemic, against the final few survivors is just entirely absent. I understand why and how Warzone's version works and what Infinity War was trying to go for, but it just falls a little short to me in terms of the hype it received, and when private matches come out, hopefully we will have the ability to play this mode after the third. Now with that being said, I'm Cyblox, I'm signing out, this is just my opinion, let me know what you believe down in the comment section below, and that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. If you were expecting another jump scare this far, you're- <laughs>